Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning into another tutorial. Today we're going to be getting into this very cute soft glam look. We've got some crystals going on and I just love the way that this look turned out. I actually did this makeup look and hair because I really wanted to go and see the Little Mermaid. So I decided to film my hair and makeup and just give you guys a little tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell that we get notified anytime that I make a new upload. So if you want to see see how I got to this look then just go ahead and keep on watching. So of course you guys already know I like to do hair first and then makeup afterward so I'm gonna go ahead and get this hair done real quick. A big shout out to XRS Beauty Hair for sponsoring today's video. They sent over this really flawless HD lace wig that I'm super excited to show you guys. So along with the wig they sent over a few little things to help with the install but this is what the wig looks like. It is 20 inches, has a 150% density but the most unique feature Feature about this wig is going to be the lace. Just to give you a better reference for how amazing this lace is, it sent over a patch of normal transparent lace as well as a little sample of their clear lace so that way you can really see how well this particular lace blends into the skin. Meaning if you're wanting a super flawless install with a lace that's just going to melt into the skin, this is definitely a wig to look into. As I was like installing this unit, I was like wow. This is by far one of like the best like lace wigs that I've ever used. I'm gonna go ahead and leave all of the information for this unit in the description box if you guys have any questions. So let's go ahead and get into this install. As always, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Ebon lace adhesive. I always use this lace adhesive, it's just my go-to. So I'm gonna use that to install the unit and then I'll cut away all of the extra lace and then get into styling. For today's look, I definitely wanted to go for something just a little bit more like subdued, not too crazy for the hair styling or anything like that. I usually keep it pretty simple with the hair but today I was just like you know just my simple signature side part and sleek straight hair is perfect because I was just going to the movie theaters to go watch The Little Mermaid. By the way if you guys have not seen this movie you definitely need to go out and see The Little Mermaid. It is so so good guys like oh my gosh I love this movie so much. I am not surprised if I like go ahead and see it a second time because I just really loved it like it made me emotional like just watching it like the kid Tiffany inside was definitely like having a time in the movie theaters. When I tell you guys Halle Bailey literally like picked up this film with her hands and carried it for the entire film. Her acting, her singing, she was so perfect in this role. Her mermaid tail looked amazing. Like she just literally like carried this entire film. It was just such a good time to like watch her play Ariel she did such an amazing job like oh my gosh like when I think about it I'm just like wow I definitely need to like go and see this movie a second time <laughs> if you're not watching it because you're a fan of like Disney movies just watch it because Halle Bailey is amazing I can't even lie to you when she was singing part of your world I was literally about to burst into tears <laughs> I don't know what it is about like her singing but the way that she like feels the music when she's singing is just amazing like she's truly like such a gifted singer and actress and the fact like they literally could not have picked anyone better to play Ariel. Like literally applause applause because she just did such an amazing job. I know some people were kind of like not feeling Melissa McCarthy as Ursula but I thought she did like a really great job. I don't know maybe that's just me but I think that she did you know the best that she could with the role. I think the character of Ursula in and of itself is like such a huge role to take on because Ursula is such an iconic villain but I think she she did like a really great job considering how iconic Ursula is. <laughs> Even with her singing, you could really tell that she did the work to pull off Unfortunate Souls, which is a song that Ursula is most famous for, for singing in the original Little Mermaid movie. I think she did a great job, but yeah, that's just me. The only thing that I wish they would have done differently with the film is have more scenes with the sisters because guys, Ariel's sisters in this new Little Mermaid, oh my gosh, they are 
stunning they are stunning so i really wish that they would have done like more scenes with like the sisters definitely let me know if you guys have seen the new little mermaid movie and if you have let me know what you think about it because i'd love to hear what you guys' like thoughts are about the film i really enjoyed it i thought it was so stinking cute little tiffany like little child tiffany was was pleased <laughs> she was definitely pleased Back to this look. So again, I didn't do anything too crazy for like the hair, just a side part and I straightened the hair out. This is like a body wave texture. So this is what the hair is giving. She looks very cute. I love the length of this hair. I think it's my favorite part aside from like the lace. Like the lace is just like, wow, that melted into the skin like literal butter. Don't get me wrong. I love like some long hair every now and again, but sometimes it's nice to just have like some nice like you know 18 inch 20 inch hair especially if you're the type of person that likes more of like a natural type of look when it comes to your hair a huge thank you again to xrs beauty for sending over this unit i am so in love with it and definitely going to be pulling this wig out again for the summertime but yeah so now that we are all done with the hair let's go ahead and move into this makeup look so first things first, I'm definitely going to have to prime. I'm going to be using the NYX Marshmallow Primer. This definitely has like a smoothing effect on the skin, which I love. I definitely use way too much of this. Like you really don't need that much. It just looks like moisturizer right now. But yeah, that's going to be like my primer for today. <laughs> and then for foundation, I'm actually using this one from NYX as well. This is their Blur Tint Foundation. I have been obsessed with this foundation. It's so so good i'm using shade number 15. i love applying this particular foundation with the brush any foundation really that's like more on the matte side i think just works better when you apply it with the brush versus a sponge i really enjoy like a soft matte look to the skin so this is like right up my alley but the fact that it's more of like a medium coverage like the coverage isn't like you know as a full as some of my other matte foundations it doesn't make the skin look too perfect to the point where it's like overly done if that makes sense this this foundation is beautiful. I highly recommend. Then for concealer, I'm going to be using this one from ColourPop. This is their Pretty Fresh Concealer. And I can't remember which shades I'm using off the top of my head, but I'll make sure to put them down below in the description box. So this is kind of like the only thing that I didn't really care too much about this glam. I'm not entirely sure how much I love these ColourPop concealers just yet. I think with other foundations, they look better. For some reason, when I was using it with this particular foundation, I feel like it didn't really blend as well as I would have liked it to. Like it definitely worked out in the end, but I think there's because of just like the formula, it needs to be used with like particular like certain foundations that are also like more on the hydrating side. But kind of similar to the foundation, I'm going to blend it in using a brush and then I'll just go back in with my sponge just to make sure everything is super smooth and the concealer is blending, you know, really well into the foundation. So we all know blush is like the first thing to go when it comes to makeup. So I'm going to first use the Danessa Myricks blush and this one's in the shade Bellini. I'm going to apply that onto the apples of the cheeks and yeah, this is going to act as like my first layer of blush. We're kind of using the cream blush as like reinforcement for the powder ones. That way it doesn't fade as quickly. And then I'll go ahead and set everything using my Chanel powder. This is my favorite powder of all time. It's so beautiful. <laughs> this is the Natural Finish Loose Setting powder i'm using shade number 20 it's definitely on the lighter side but considering that i pretty much like to use the chanel powder just to set the under eyes i'm more than okay with that if i do decide to use this powder all over the face i'll just kind of use just a tiny bit of my um, powder foundation in my skin tone right over it um but overall like it's just a beautiful powder like i love this stuff so much i'm always gonna be like a stand for it <laughs> i'm definitely gonna get some bronzer 
in here. So I'm gonna use the NARS Laguna Bronzer. This one is in shade number eight. I've been really liking this one. I picked it up just recently from Sephora and um, I'm just gonna use that to warm up the skin. So I'm gonna apply it onto the forehead, the nose, as well as the cheeks. So I'm gonna apply this onto the forehead and the cheeks. I also like to go in with my bronzer on like the nose as well because I like to do a reverse contour so if you're like me and you kind of use like the same technique you definitely want to add a little bit of bronzer onto the nose first that way when you go in with your bake it'll create like that nice like soft contour speaking of baking I'm gonna do that next using the beauty bakery flower powder this one is in the shade cassava it's a nice yellowy tint perfect for brightening the under eyes so you guys can see I'm going to bring the powder super close to the sides of the nose and I'm also so going to add like a strip of powder down the center of the nose and to bake I always like to use a powder puff that's like my go-to they're just perfect for baking the under eyes and now it's time for some powder blush I'm gonna be using this a favorite of mine right now from house labs this is their um, blush in the shade I think it's pomelo peach if I'm not mistaken I could be wrong but it's just the peachy the peachy one I did one eye and my brows off camera so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into this eye look as you can see it's very soft but still very like pretty again I was just going to the movies so I didn't want to do like too much with my makeup but I still wanted to look very like pretty and stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and start priming the eyes first using my favorite primer from Be Perfect Cosmetics this is the perfect prime eyeshadow base a majority of the colors that I use for this look are gonna be from the colored rain rebel nudes palette rebellious nudes palette excuse me so I'm gonna start off with a mixture of these two shades on the crease both of these colors definitely have more of like an orangey undertone to it so it's gonna act as like that super warm base for the look I'm gonna apply that using a really fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna focus that on the crease and the outer corner to deepen up the crease I use this kind of more neutral type of brown color from the new Mel Cosmetics dark matter palette Ooh, this palette is good. It's so, so gorgeous. I cannot wait to, to create like a full on like smoky look with this palette. It's just so beautiful. I'm gonna use a slightly smaller fluffy brush and just apply that onto the crease. As soon as I'm done applying that color, you'll see me go back in with a little bit of extra Beauty Bakery flower setting powder and my triangle powder puff and just apply that onto the very edge of the eye just to catch any fallout that might happen um, when I'm applying my next couple of like metallic shades and it kind of gives me like a guide when I go in with my winged liner. Oh I actually did use another eyeshadow from the Dark Matter palette. It's this little metallic shade here. I applied that onto the lid just to kind of like start off. I definitely wanted to a little bit more like shimmer than this so I also used another metallic from the Rebellious Nudes palette from Colored Rain and applied that right on the center to add like that extra bit of shimmer. And that'll pretty much be it when it comes to shadow. So I'm gonna start creating this winged eyeliner next. I'm using a gel liner from Melt Cosmetics as well. This is their ultra matte gel liner in the shade Onyx. It's just like your basic black gel eyeliner, but I do love this formula from Melt. The formula of their gel liners are always like top notch. I think the best tip that I can give you guys when it comes to doing like a cat eye is just take your time, honestly. When it comes to makeup, it's so much easier to add than it is to remove. Definitely just take your time and just go like you know a little bit out of a time with how bold you want your wing to be so I'm gonna dust off that bake after that and then just finish up the eyes for the waterline I use my favorite beige eyeliner right now from LA girl and I think from there I just added my mascara and lashes mascara is gonna be from milk makeup this is their Kush mascara I just added that to the top and the bottom lashes uh, and then for falsies, I'm using a pair from Lily Lashes. These are their um, lashes in the style of Milan. I'm just gonna pop those on right after mascara. And then the last thing that I wanted to do with this eye look is just add some rhinestones. I didn't mention this earlier, which I should have. I can't believe I forgot to mention this, but this look is actually inspired by another artist that I found on Instagram. Let me pull up her page because she is amazing and you guys like need to follow her. 
her. This is Lachey's Glams on Instagram. She's based out in Miami. She is a bomb makeup artist and uh, she also has a YouTube channel. So definitely go and make sure to follow her on Instagram and subscribe to her channel here on YouTube because she's amazing. Definitely wanted to give her a shout out because this look was inspired by a glam that she did on one of her clients. And as soon as I saw it, I was just like obsessed. You guys already know I love a good nude lip. It's just like my go-to, my signature. <laughs> So I'm gonna start off lining the lips using this liner from Huda Beauty. I don't remember what name or what shade name it is, but it's like their darkest brown. And then for lipstick, I've been really loving these little like smooth whip lip creams from NYX. These guys are so, so pretty. I'm gonna apply that onto the lips and just make sure to blend it really well using a brush into the lip liner. Even though I like to use like a darker lip liner, I always try to make sure that the lipstick is like blended well into it so it doesn't look like too crazy. And today we're also doing a gloss. I have been obsessed with these ColourPop glosses. This is the So Juicy gloss in the shade She's Here. It's the perfect nude gloss to go with this nude lip. Chef's kiss. And then last but not least, I'm gonna finish up this look using some setting spray. I'm used to going in with my favorite one at the moment from Benefit. This is their Professional Super Setter Setting Spray. And that'll complete today's glam. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely let me know what you think about the look down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I am so obsessed with this glam. <laughs> if you haven't seen The Little Mermaid, definitely go ahead and give it a watch. And if you have seen it, let me know what you think of the movie down below in the comments. Anyways, thank you again for watching guys. Sending all my love and hopefully I will see you in the next one.